stay tuned gonna mix up the skip trowel shoot some footage of that and then skip trowel this 12 by 12 ceiling to match the existing That's the existing. Hard to tell with this lighting, but we're going to skip trial it. It's going to look just like it. Then we'll prime it with the Zinsser 123 latex stain blocking primer and then a top coat of Richard's paint, flat. Alrighty, I'm gonna show you how to mix up the skip trowel to do this 12 by 12 ceiling that I skim coated. It was a popcorn ceiling, skim coated it twice. Gonna do a skip trowel texture to match the rest of the home ceilings. This is the last room that didn't get the popcorn skimmed over and skip troweled. So here we go, um, just a couple things. I got a just a container of water to be able to make it easier and see how much water I'm putting in the bucket. Here's some sand. I'm gonna put in probably I don't know cup cup and a half. I've got a half half a bucket of all-purpose joint compound USG dark green lead paint mixer. That's what I'm gonna mix it up with. I have a bigger mixer, but I'm just doing a little bit of a skip trial so I'm not gonna need to really break that out just a paint mixer for your do-it-yourselfers and a 20 volt cordless DeWalt drill so I'm gonna mix that up in a second show you what I'm gonna use to do the skip trial I got a hawk you can use a mud pan I prefer a hawk some people use mud pans some people use hawks 14 inch gold blatt drywall taping knife my six inch I like to keep it in my pocket scrape any high areas anything like that so I'll have a six inch right here in my back pocket or for tight areas if I need them I don't think I'll need them on this ceiling and a scooper makes it easy to get the skip trail out of the bucket and put it on the hawk so uh, that's everything I'm going to be using I'll put some links in my description to all these products they're an affiliate link I do get a small percentage the prices don't go up from that it's just a way that the products can get sold online so uh, help support my channel click on those links and um, I'm gonna get to mixing again here's the sand I'm not gonna put it all in yet probably don't need it the original skip trial in this house isn't real sandy so probably about a cup used half probably half of that I'll mix it up and see what I have but that's probably gonna be good enough cup of sand half a bucket of all-purpose joint compound don't put too much water mix it thick and then thin it down as you go you don't want it too thin because then you're gonna have to add more mud what I like to do is use a half a bucket increments I split a bucket in half that way I can keep the the mixture the same with the sand and the water and it doesn't slosh everywhere if you got a full bucket and you're trying to power mix it it's gonna throw mud everywhere so just get it mixed up What you want to do is, you know, mix the top first, get the water in, then start bringing the bottom up into the top, and then it all gets mixed together. So you want it all consistent throughout the whole half a bucket of uh, skip trial mix here.
All right, so I'll put that aside. And I like how that looks. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that mix. So I got my hawk, got my 14 inch knife, scooper. You don't want to put too much on your hawk. It goes a good distance. Probably get a three by three area. So I'll just take my knife, get all the corners. Anything that's on the walls from the skim coat, I'm going to go around with a rag and just wipe off. It's not a lot, so it's Make sure you got any all boogers or high areas, ridges. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little on the knife, gonna get it started, figure it out a little bit. Not much. You'll find the joint compound is perfect on hot grabs for skip trial. If you're trying to skip trial where painted surface tends to slide a little more. You gotta work it a little more. This grabs just how you want. So I'll get a big enough area. Pretty much just use all the mud and then I'll knock it all down from the opposite direction. Now for the corners, I'm just loading the end up over there just to, so I don't pile it up. And actually, you don't run a lot of skip trail along the whole edge. That way, when you go to cut in, it's a, a lot easier to cut in than trying to cut in on that textured surface. If you make a mistake, just scrape it off. Seems like a big blob. I didn't know. It'll dry pretty quick on this skim coat too, which is good. I'll probably be able to climb it later today. Painting might be pushing it. Alright, so I'm gonna go the other way, opposite way. It down. You can go the same way as you put it all on the knock it down, but I think this just gives it enough variation to set up straight lines going down your ceiling. So there's the I got that with one hawk load. So that's probably a quarter of the room. And it's good to every once in a while to drop down, take a look, see what you got up, and you can add a little, knock down something that doesn't quite look like it got knocked down right. See, 
a high knife mark right here. Scrape that back. Look around. Looks good. I'm just going back over stuff that looks like it needs it. Knock it down the opposite way once I've pretty much ran out of mud on my hawk. You'll develop your own techniques as far as timing all that. All right, so there's two, two hawk loads, about a third done. Again, just probably about an inch and a half of mud on the tip of my nose. Just gliding. I'm just gliding with the mud. I'm not really putting much pressure at all. much go over it twice. The initial just kind of leaves a little track and then I go back over it and it, it grabs it.
You see this pot that might need it like in here? You don't want to keep piling up mud trying to get one little spot. Just put it on the tip of the mud. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Almost there.
Didn't even use a half of half of the half of a bucket. Skip trial. There's where the step through was, somewhere in this area. And there's your skip trial. Got any questions about how to skip trial, how to mix a skip trial, my technique, ask me in the comment section. If you like the video, share it to your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Appreciate it. Check out the next video. I'll be priming and painting. Got a couple tricks to show you when you're not painting the walls to get a nice cut line. So stick around. Subscribe and we'll see you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of how to's, tips, and tricks, and even some project videos. So uh, subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.